Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video, man. We are going back in time. So like you say, well, Tone, you guys sell a lot of muscle cars, high performance stuff. No, we do sell that, but what we do sell is history. And history is really what we're into here. This right here is a spectacular piece of history. This is 2019, we're doing this video. We're approaching, approaching not too far from now, right? Uh, we're approaching the 100 year mark for this car. This car could potentially be 100 years old and you're driving it. Let that sink in for a second. Let me tell you a little bit about what the world was like when this car uh, came out. Keep in mind that uh, a gallon of gasoline was around 17 cents. A loaf of bread, uh, what did we say it was? Eight cents. Uh, the, the average salary, yearly salary of somebody was $1,800 a year. A brand new home, brand new brick home, right? Brand new brick home, $6,000. So you can say, well, wow, that's is incredible. Who knew? These cars here are all priced under $1,000. A car under $1,000, well, now you know why it was, because it took quite a bit of your salary to be able to afford something like this. This one here is beautifully restored. It's shown 101 miles on it since the restoration. And you can drive this today anywhere around town. You can even drive it on the highway. It's 201 cubic inch engine. It goes on down the road. I've driven it. It does, see what it does? It does this kind of smile right here on my face when I talk about it. Not to mention, if you have kids or another couple, imagine going out to dinner in this car, right? You're getting this thing parked right up front. They're going to push the Porsche or Mercedes, whatever it is they had out there, there. And everybody who walks out to look at this car is going to go, wow, look at that thing. From the styling, because that's what I'm talking about, the styling. So you have this extra tire here, the wide whites. We have that tiny little... <coughs> Ooga, right? Huh? This also, believe it or not, has crank starting, but this one came standard with electric starting. So it has an electric starter inside, just turn it on and do like you would a regular car, but it also has this cool crank feature right here. It doesn't sit there, we just put it there for the video, and you can actually start the car that way. <laughs> it's so cool. Think about being in your garage, man, your friends come over, you're like, hey man, let's go for a ride the car, cool. Let's crank it up. And that's where let's crank it up came from, all right? That's cool. All right, let's talk about the quality of paint. First off, Ford maroon and black, the style goes with the canvas convertible top. This has a lot of features. You'd be very surprised. Some of these cars are very basic. This one here is the Rumble Seat Roadster, and it is equipped with a lot, a lot of modern things, as well as uh, like turn signals and things like that, so that you can take this out on the road. But what I wanted to show you first off is how beautiful the restoration is on this car. The paint is absolutely mirror finish. Anyway, I just want to show you some of the modern kind of cool stuff. Here we have our, our running lights, right? Kind of the first example of today's modern daytime running lights. And then we have our headlights there as well. This has turn signals. So you can wheel this car wherever you want to go. So it's great. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood here. This is all nicely detailed. So maybe you want to go to a car show. Maybe you want to show some friends or whatever. Uh, look how nicely detailed that is. Just so simple to work on. It's so simple. Like you might want to take this as your first foray into maybe changing a belt on a car or maybe changing some spark plugs. This would be the place to start because everything's accessible. You can see it all in there and there's so few parts to keep it running that uh, you almost can't make a mistake. All right, so listen, there are a couple things about a car that, that start a trend or, or some verbiage or something like that. So for instance, like when you go to your modern car today and you go to throw your stuff in the, your groceries, you might throw in the, right, work with me, the trunk. Well, back then there was no trunk here, so the trunk really was literally the trunk. This is a cool, cool piece when you think about this. I don't even know if I put the cover on it, but we, as it comes with a cover, you can actually put some stuff in here if you want to. Can you imagine going away for a weekend in this cool car? And then throw in this part. This is my favorite part of the whole car, all right, is this piece back here. So in this car, all right, we have cabriolet seating and we have the rumble seat back here, all right, with the steps to go ahead and get inside, and they're part of the whole car, so you just step right on those things right there. It's got a grab handle here for you to get in, which is uh, just, I mean, look at this, man. That is some kind of cool. All right, so come on, let's get inside here. Um, this is kind of cool, so I like to. All right, seat belts. So we talked about some modern stuff, turn signals, right? Electric start right here, okay? This even has an amp gauge, 
fuel gauge is right here in the center of the dash. All right. Uh, I guess I get excited about the car because of the level of restoration this car is. All the chrome has been redone, all the handles, uh, even little stuff like this. Like, this is the wipers. How cool is this, man? So let's say you're riding along, you get jammed in the rain, right? You would just go ahead and you'd wipe the, the right there. Even the mirror itself is kind of period kind of correct with it being oval. This windshield also swings forward, so you just undo these and you can open that up for some extra air to vent it in there. All this little stuff, man, this is what it was like back in the day. And you think about people riding around in these cars, and this was the basic transportation. Well, obviously, this has been restored to a much nicer level than, say, basic transportation. And uh, you could have a lot of fun in this car, not to mention throwing a couple people in the back, too. If you've never ridden in the back of a car like this, it is a whole nother experience, man. It's like being, it's like being a little bit of royalty. You know, like you're riding back here, and you're... How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Anyway, fully restored. Beautiful, beautiful color combination. The fact that you can drive this car this weekend, it's approaching the centennial mark. I mean, we're getting to that place where these cars are continuing to go up in value. And you can say, well, Tone, how do you know it's going to go up in value? Well, we talked about how much a car was. It was under $1,000 back in the day, and it's no longer under $1,000. So I think enough said. Anyway, call us, 301 816-1000. We'll tell you all about this beautiful, beautiful Model A Roadster.